People, my people, I have been seriously remiss. I um, drink a shit ton of gin, as you might guess, and I realized I actually hadn't made a simple gin and tonic. Now, um, incredibly stupid of me. Now, a gin and tonic is one of those beautiful uh, gins, or tonics, or sorry, cocktails, that, well, for me, it takes the iron and just irons out a whole lot of issues at the end of the day. So what we have is a crystal clear glass. I am making this with Port Phillip Bay's Hell's Bells, which is a London dry gin, and two large ice cubes, and Fever Tree Mediterranean tonic water. So I'm gonna pour a good measure of this, Sound of happiness. Second sound of happiness. Tip it in. Now, the only person who likes their cocktails shaken, not stirred, is James Bond. Because it turns out that James Bond may have been a secret agent, agent, but when it came to his cocktails, he was actually a bit of an idiot. So I'm about to stir this baby, make sure it's well mixed in. And that is way of making a perfect gin and tonic. It's gonna be the perfect way of dealing with people over summer, family members. We all know how some of us don't really like Christmas. Happy Saturday to you guys. But this is gonna take the pain out of all sorts of situations because this is how you make the perfect GNT. It's mine, not yours. You have to go and make your own. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, they just hit a bad day like a steamroller.